All right, so here's a little video showing uh, how this new time-lapse camera panner that I built works. stable. So the unit consists of a stepper motor in here with a 4 to 1 belt reduction over to the main spindle here. Spindle is uh, riding on dual preloaded bearings to uh, keep it from moving around. We got a, uh, a 3 8 16 uh, thread right there so for screwing a uh, tripod, a professional quality tripod onto the top of it. And then on the bottom of the unit, we have a female 3816 thread for screwing this onto a tripod. So you'll take the head off the tripod, put this onto the tripod, and then put the head onto this. So that way you can pan your head automatedly. Uh, it's powered off a 4-pin XLR with uh, 14 volts designed to run off uh, Anton Bauer batteries. And um, also we have in the back here, you can see there's a little hole right there, and a little key that I built for, uh, for locking the head for when you're putting the tripod head on there. So you slip that in there, and then uh, a little bit of pressure and turning the head, and it'll slip right in there, and now, now the head can't, the spindle can't turn. Allowing you to lock your, your tripod head on there nice and tight. When you're done, pull the key out, you're ready to run. Alright, so we, it's built off of a uh, Arduino uh, Nano. And uh, we got an easy driver, stepper motor driver inside here. Um, three buttons on the face and a 16 by 2 LCD panel. Uh, this cord coming out the side right here is just for uh, temporary power as I don't have a Anton Bauer battery to power the unit. Um, it internally regulates voltage from the Anton Bauer 14.4 volts down to 12. So you'd need at least 12 and a half volts, a little higher would be a little better, to uh, get the regulator to work and then that'll power up the unit. So I'm going to go and power up the unit now and when I do so it's going to start homing and uh, to a known zero position there's a little uh, photoelectric eye inside it with a little arm mounted on the uh, on the spindle so let me power this up Let's see it says homing uh, it was actually homed so what I'm gonna do here just so I can show this I'll unplug it and I'm gonna manually jog there we go so now we're off uh, one note to make is that where the key goes is actually home position so let's uh, let's plug this in. Now it says homing, and you can see the unit turning there to find its home position. So when it finds its home position by uh, the little arm breaking the photoelectric beam, it will stop, reverse pos direction, and then very very slowly turn the opposite direction until the beam opens again. That way home is the same every single time. Alright, so on the front panel here, you see it says camera panner. We got a recall option and a new pan option. So the center button is always select and then these two buttons are a form of soft keys. You can see they relate to what their function is here. So if we go ahead and pick new pan, you can see our position. We've got start position and we can pan left which will turn the unit left or pan right which will turn the unit right so you set your start position I'm going uh, to set this back to zero and start from zero All right. there we go All right. so we set zero alright now you set your end position so let's uh... there we go little camera there. <laughs> Alright, so say we want to do a 90 degree pan. One full revolution of the head here is 8800 steps. This is a stepper motor. And we're using an eighth step, eighth micro step um, tactic. So if I jog this, 
So we're gonna we're gonna pan to the right, a clockwise pan. And so I'm gonna jog this up to 2200. And as we jog, the longer I hold the button, the faster this thing's gonna jog. So I'll, I'll show you. Let's let's go back down. All right. So we watch. Focus it. This is the first step. Second stage. Third stage. I believe there's one more. Fourth stage. So now that thing's moving pretty good. So now we're up to 11,000. So we gotta go back down now. We'll bring it down to 4,400 and do a uh, one half revolution pan. Alright, so there we go, we're at 4400. So we set our end position now. Alright, so now we set the time that we want this pan to take. And this is how long from start to finish should the duration be. So I'm going to say, why don't we go for 20 seconds. So there's 20 seconds. You can be all the way up to 24 hours. And then so you select that, and then delay. Delay would be the amount of time from when it reaches the start position before it starts. So we'll set this to uh, to five seconds. So then hit enter again. It says push start, so you can abort or you can start. So we're gonna hit start. So now we're gonna move to our start position. In preparation for our pan. I'll make it simple and move the little cap up here. So then three, two, one, go. So now we're doing our pan at whatever speed that the unit calculated it's gonna take to turn the wheel 4,400 4, steps in 20 seconds. There it is. So it says now press any key to to be to get out of this menu. So we'll hit the mid middle key. Now it says, do you want to run the unit in reverse? So if you hit no, you'll go back to the main screen. You hit yes, the unit is going to ask you your delay time again. We'll set that to five seconds. Hit the OK button. It says push start to start. So you hit start. So now we're going to delay our five seconds. And then we're going to run our pan in reverse. Taking the same amount of time as the first one. we go we're done so and come back hit don't hit any key come back to the reverse menu again reverse comes up at the end of every pan so if you want to run it in the forwards direction again you hit yes you'll reverse the reversed and run the same direction you programmed originally or you can hit no and you'll come back to the main screen so from the main screen here we have this other option recall so when you click on recall you're asked the delay so if I said delay 5 seconds, hit OK, hit start, this remembers the last run that you did. So since the last run we did was the reverse of the first run we did, we're going to go back to the position that we started, which is 4400. So we're there. We're going to delay 5 seconds, 2, 1, and then we're going to do our pan back to 0. And there we go. We're done. So do we reverse? Nope. Go back to the main menu. And that's it. So hope we make a, uh, a couple little updates. And uh, 
post another video. Thanks.